If you have a book that you'd like to protect the cover of a little bit and it doesn't have a dust jacket, and this is very important, you don't want to use the method I'm about to show you on a collector's book or something with a dust jacket. There's a different way that we can protect these books, but for just a simple book that doesn't have a dust jacket, we want to put a plastic cover on this book. So we can go to any hobby shop or you can order us online. This is just a four mil mylar. It's a little bit thick. So this is four millimeter mylar. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover this book in the, the, the jacket of this book in the four millimeter mylar in order to protect it. So I'm going to take my mylar and I have a cutting board here. I'm just gonna line it up on the cutting board so I know that it's even. I can even put a little piece of paper on here just to make sure that I'm nice and even. So I have a straight edge on there and I'll put the book on here. What I wanna do is I wanna leave a gap that I'm going to fold in. So I'm gonna leave a gap that I'm gonna fold in. I'm going to fold the book once and then once over and then I'm gonna leave another gap that I can fold in. So I wanna cut somewhere around here. I'll use a straight edge here and I'll just cut. I'm gonna be folding this in. So now I've cut my length that gives me enough room to fold in on the flaps. I then wanna make sure that at the bottom here, I'm also going to cut to the height of the book. So I'll just put my straight edge there. So my straight edge at the bottom of the book. Move the book out of the way for safety. And now I'm going to cut along this. So now I'm gonna take my book here. Again, I gave myself on my cutting board about five squares of space. So I'm going to give it a little pinch here and I'm going to make that nice and tight, fold the mylar. And that's going to get that edge of the book. And then I'm going to take the book here, make sure that I can close it. Again, I'm not, I'm not folding the other end yet. Make sure that I can close this book nicely. Then I'm going to open it and I'm going to give this side a little bit of a pinch. I may even leave a little bit of a gap here, but give it a little pinch and I'll be able to use my fingernail to straighten that edge. And now I can tuck that in nicely and I have a well-protected book that I can put on my shelf. This is going to be great. Mylar is really great for protecting your book. Again, please do not do this method on a book with a dust jacket. Uh, we want to cover the dust jacket with the Mylar and we use a different method for that. But here's a very inexpensive way for textbooks or books without a dust jacket to give them some protection.